Hello, this is Albert with Office Core. Thanks for tuning in for another video tutorial. Today we'll be going over the scan to folder option with your Konica Minolta printer. To start, open up a Explorer window, navigate to drive C, and choose this PC, drive C. From here we're going to create a new folder Let's name that scans. Right click scans, go to the properties, the sharing tab, click on share. People to share with, let's go ahead and add everyone as well as guests to this list. And we're going to change the permission level to read slash write for both of them. Next, we're going to click Share, and then hit Done. Next, from here, let's go to the Advanced Sharing button. Go to the Permissions button. You're going to note that everyone is added to the Share Permissions, but we're also going to add the Guest Account. All right, type in Guest into this blank box. Click on the Check Names option and then click OK. Here we're going to allow full control and the ability to change to that folder. Click Apply and OK. Apply and OK as well. And then next, we're going to the Network and Sharing Center. From here, you're going to ensure that your current profile for your network is set to private. So to make sure of that, if yours says or is set to the public profile, Go down to your network icon, right click that, and open network and internet settings. From here, you're going to change your connection properties, and you're going to ensure that private is selected. Once that's done, go ahead and click back. You can close this window again, and then reopen it from Network and Sharing Center. And this time, it should say private for your current profile. So from here, go down to All Networks and scroll down just a little bit and ensure that Turn Off Password Protected Sharing is selected. If not, go ahead and select that and then Save Changes. Once that has been checked, go ahead and close this window. There's also one more thing we want to check with your network adapter. So go to the Open Network and Internet Settings. Go to the Change Adapter Options. So depending on w how you're actually connected to your Wi-Fi network, be it the uh, Ethernet option or the Wi-Fi option, if you have a, a, um, a Wi-Fi adapter, right-click that connector, go to Properties, and from this list here, we're going to select the IPv4 option, Internet Protocol version 4. Double-click that, go to Advanced, WINS tab and ensure that enable NetBIOS over TCP IP. Well, what we found in this industry is that SMP actually doesn't play too well with DHCP server. So enable this, click OK, click OK one more time, and you can close this window. All right, uh, don't close this window just yet. Uh, there's some vital information that we need in order to add this folder to your printer. So go ahead and open up a web browser. And in this browser, you're going to type in your IP address for your machine. In my case, it's 192.168.7.33. Hit enter. And that'll take us to the web interface of the machine. Okay, so now that we're in the web interface of the of your unit, you'll notice that here we have a C458 demo machine. You're going to select the store address tab on a older interface. You'll notice, or you'll see that um, there will be colored tabs. 
and you'll be selecting the orange one for store address. So go ahead and click on that. We're going to select new registration. You're going to select SMB from the list of available functions. Give this thing a name. This name is how it's actually going to appear in the address book. Uh, to sort it in the address book, you can do it alphabetically. And ensure that this tick mark under or next to main is selected. Check, please check to enter host name. And then host name is actually the name of your computer. And that is right here under the network path from the um, scan folder properties option under sharing tab. So go ahead and select that first part of the network path. You can right click and copy that. Put that information right here. For the file path, we place this under the root folder C drive under scans. Next, in our user ID, go ahead and type in the guest and then select OK. Click on return. And we should almost be ready to scan. There's one last thing that we need to check. So apologize. Click on the Windows button and then type in add features or add feet. You'll notice that this populates here. Click on this item. And then on this list, ensure the SMB1 is actually turned on so that it'll have a check mark. You can expand that to make sure that the user have been installed. If not, go ahead and click that and then click OK. That's going to install that update for you. And then at the end, it'll actually ask you to restart your computer. Once you do so, um, you should have the capability to scan the folder. So um, you'll actually head over to your uh, Konica Minolta machine, go to the scan fax function, select the, uh, the new folder that was created in the address book, and then just hit start. So it'll scan that, uh, <clears throat> that file and it should send it directly into this folder. Um, if you want to make things a little bit easier, you can go back to that folder, right click it, you're going to send a copy to the desktop, and you can actually also drag and place this into the quick access tab. Okay. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can call us at the office. It's 888-546-7990. Once again, 888-546-7990. So yeah, we're all set. Thank you again for choosing OfficeCore. Have a good day.